everything. Hello. <laughs> mm. <laughs> right. So, okay. Hello. My name. My name is Art Garfunkel. You might remember <laughs> me. Uh, Paul Simon took my career, but uh, I'm now here. And I'm just trying to trying to reinvigorate it again. Um, I yes. I was on the on, on the plane on the way here, and uh, I was on. The, I, I heard I was on the way. To Berlin, and so uh, on the plane, I I, I I remembered a story about a about a woman from Sweden, and uh, actually that reminds me. Oh, hang on. Right, woman from Sweden. A true story about Berlin. And I read these two, they were sat next to me in Ryanair, and we were very close together, so we got quite intimate. <laughs> and, uh, right, okay, so this is my, my song about Berlin, which is going to get me back in the charts again, despite that bastard Paul Simon, and all of his success with world music, which, uh, if anyone can do world music, we can do it better. So, Nothing warms the cockles like a good dry stone wall. Over rolling dales and mountains tall. If Berlin had won across its town, they never would have pulled it down. <laughs> Here comes the story. Drama, very Kill Bill. Um, in 1979, a woman from Sweden started to get unusual feelings. The wall in Berlin did something for her that went beyond mere bricks and mortar. This is an absolute true story. I, I read about it, so it's true. <laughs> Not on the internet. It was in a paper, which makes it twice as true. She was an objectum sexual. That's a term, it's a medical term. A disposition far from flexible. Neither attracted to man, woman, or pets. She preferred the company of inanimate objects. That's an uh, objectum sexual, it means you're attracted to an animal, inanimate objects, you know. It's quite common in men for vehicles and things like that, but this particular Swedish woman was interested in the Berlin Wall for some demented reason. I think you think she'd be interested in a wall in Sweden, for instance, but you know, something she should get to know, or something that, you know, I'm sure we've all been attracted to someone that has been in a foreign location, so, but it's not really love for the love, is it? Really, you know, you know, you know it's not. Well, anyway, Anyway, she went and got married then, anyway. So <laughs> she taken the stupid, stupid bitch. Anyway, um, off to Berlin she did head, and within days to the wall she was wed. Together they'd stand against all life knocks, life's knocks, and perhaps think about raising a couple of grease blocks. But then, the political climate shifted, and the dark, threatening clouds of politics were lifted. Germans with bad hair and stonewashed jeans destroyed the wall they hated. And there was a lot of them. There was a lot of them. But never considering one woman who'd be devastated. So, can we have a bit of sadness before? <laughs> and uh, nothing <laughs> warms the cockles <coughs> like a good dry stone wall over rolling dales and mountains tall. If Berlin had won across its town, they never would have pulled it down. Thank you very much. Hi, Mark. <laughs>